Ivar of the Viking Raiders suffered an injury during an eight-man tag on Raw last night. The Viking Raiders teamed with Apollo Crews and Ricochet in an eight-man tag match against Hurt Business. Near the end of the match, Ivar hit a suicide dive to the outside. He started making an X signal with his hands. He put up his own dreaded X. In the ring, Alexander avoided a 6.30 from Ricochet, gave Ricochet a Michinoku driver to get the win. By the way, I've asked several people about what happened there, and I have not gotten an answer yet, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, he kicked out at two, not even two and a half. Like, he kicked out at two, and the ref just signaled for the bell. So, I mean, maybe once Ivar got hurt, the call was made to end the match, and either Ricochet didn't hear it, or he was confused, or he thought, okay, we're going to go right to the finish, but this isn't the finish, so I'll kick out of this, and then we'll do the finish. But whatever happened... I mean, they ended that match. I think that's right, because it's not like MVP jumped up and celebrated with the Hurt Business in the background. It well, I'll talk about him for was... a second. That's actually something totally different. So anyway, after the match, medical oh. personnel were shown checking on Ivar outside the ring. WWE announced that Ivar suffered a cervical injury during the match. He was taken to the hospital as a precaution is expected to make a full recovery. So what happened with MVP was, Ivar did this dive and immediately knew that he was hurt. And so he starts putting up the X, and he actually, because everybody caught him, he was laying on MVP's leg. So if you look after the match when the doctors are, are tending to Ivar, MVP is sitting against the dashboards with Ivar on his leg, and he's just sitting there. Which can't feel good, because Ivar is a big dude. But I think that in MVP's mind... He thought, dude, I don't want to move this guy. I don't want to move this guy even to get my leg out from underneath him. So I think that MVP thought this may be pretty bad. So he just laid there with the guy on him. Now, WWE has said it's a cervical injury, which sounds really serious. But the last update they've given is he's expected to make a full recovery in the hospital was precautionary. I've heard nothing this morning, so I have no idea what's going on. Hopefully he's okay. I guess we just wish for the best and wait for another update from WWE. Yeah, it kind of looks like a stinger, but uh, whatever it was, uh, thankfully it's, it does not look like it's that serious. So good luck to him. The other weird thing is I've seen so many dives that the landing looks so horrible. But this looked like every dive he's ever done, and he pretty much landed on his feet, which just goes to show anything can happen at any time. Back in a moment, Observer Live. All right. This person here says, can anyone just stop with the suicide dives? Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen, so I don't even know about addressing that one. But, I, I mean, if, you wanna, if you're worried about people getting hurt, I mean, there should just be some... Basic rules about how whatever dive you do, just make sure that people are able to catch you. Like, you know, Biggie's dive where he dives and spears them through the ropes and they both just crash on the ground. I mean, something bad's going to happen someday. And, you know, the double, the, the 450 off the top where you just hit everybody with your back and everybody falls down like bowling balls. I mean, I don't know. It's not going to Every, stop. Everybody, you know, I... I... We have in, somebody's going to dislike in 2020. In fact, there's cinematic matches and all these big spots and things like that. They're going to take place. It, but also, we what we know in 2020 is the fan base, especially AEWs. If you would have had a trick shot to that or pre-tape that or anything else, it would not have. It, it, who cares in 2020? It would not have taken anyone's enjoyment out of that match. The people that are still going to absolutely hate those spots and hate that style and what they were doing, fine. They're going to hate it regardless. So you could have done that whole thing, not live, and maybe pulled it off, actually, and should pull it off. If that's the way, if this is what you're going to do with these moves now, you know, you're not you're not in northern Delaware in a field. You know, you're AEW with tons of money. Utilize that and do the cinematic portions if you're going to do the stuff that that's this dangerous.